Hi everyone, this is Helena, and I'm here with Mike Goldstein again today. Welcome, Mike. Yes, thanks for having me. I'm really excited about this topic. This is an interesting one. Today we wanted to come on and talk about why you actually need to let a man pull away sometimes if you want him to fall for you, right? Yes. Before we get into that, guys, I want to let you know that at the end of this, we got something wildly special and we can't wait to share it. But let's get to the topic right now. So, Helena, what are we going to do? What? Are you asking me the questions this time? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> We've been recording videos all day. We're just excited to mix it up for this Your one. Your turn. Okay. Awesome. I love that. And yeah, I would actually love to hear your take on this too, coming from a man's perspective. But from my experience, you know, as a woman, I've found that, that we tend to fall in love with a man when, he's, when we're with him physically, right? When he's looking into our eyes and talking to us and touching us and we just feel so connected to him. That's when we tend to fall for a guy. But for a man, in my experience and in the experiences of some of my clients, it's a little different. I've really found that men fall in love when they're away from us, when they're missing us. Like if you've ever maybe gone on a trip with a man or spent a great weekend with him or even just had a fantastic date that lasted for hours and hours and then, you know, when you get back from the trip or maybe the next day after the date, you know, he kind of goes off and does his own thing. Maybe he spends some time with his friends or, you know, takes a day to himself or starts working on something that, you know, he needs to get to. and. For women, that can kind of like stir something up in us and cause us to want to lean forward and get that connection happening again. And often, sometimes we do those things and, and kind of push a man away just as his feelings were deepening for us and he was actually falling for you. That's been my experience and my perspective. Mike, I'd love to hear everything you have to say on this topic. Yeah, I mean, there's science behind it that we never talk about. Um, but basically what happens is when a man is building that connection, having that conversation with a woman, his testosterone level is actually dropping because mm -hmm. talking causes estrogen. And that's why with women, a lot of the time, that's amazing because estrogen makes them more vibrant and makes them sexier. But men, when they get estrogen, it's like they get man boobs and <laughs> they get grumpy. So when you see a grumpy man, it's because his testosterone levels are coming down. So if you send them away, like specifically like for me, if I go play soccer, and then I'm playing soccer away from my partner. I come back with higher testosterone because I'm building it back up through soccer. And I'm like, wow, like my partner is amazing. And where do I want to go with this? And it gives me time to think like, is it time to propose? Is it time to, mm -hmm. you know, take this to the next level? Is it time to move in together? All these things happen when testosterone's high, when I'm away from her. So everything you're saying is just absolute gold. Awesome. Okay, good. I love that. We didn't talk about this before. And so we're in agreement on this one. Awesome. I really like that. And, you know, I found that when men are away from us and they're kind of missing us and wishing that, you know, we were there, maybe they take a trip with their friends or, you know, spend the day alone, maybe go hiking or something. And then they, you know, oh, I really miss her. It'd be cool to, to experience this with her sometime. That's when they kind of assimilate and process some of these strong emotions that happened the last time we were together, for example. They get to go away a little bit. Their testosterone levels build back up, and then they come back in even stronger than ever. Have you guys ever experienced that? Let us know down below in the comment section. I know it's something that, I mean, I've certainly been there. We all have, right? It's called, I think it's called fractionation, where a man kind of pulls away, and then he comes back in. He pulls away a little bit, he comes back in even, even stronger than ever. So if a man is kind of taking some time to himself, if you can anchor yourself right where you are, right? Don't like, if he, if this is you and this is him and he kind of pulls away, our tendency is to want to like close that gap, right? Um, if you imagine like a, a rubber band between the two of you. Man, you know, we, we spend some time together. He takes some space for himself. If you keep following him along, there's like no slack in that rubber band. There's no tension or pull for him to come back towards you. Now, of course, I did want to mention that if a man, you know, is constantly pulling away or just like disappearing for days or weeks at a time, we don't want you to be with a guy like that, right? Just, just drop him and move on. Some men just can't tolerate that much intimacy and closeness, right? He gets too close and he backs off and it's more of an extreme thing. But in general, if it's like a healthy relationship dynamic and it's a healthy man who, you know, wants to be in a close connected relationship, he, he is, there's always this, you know, he is going to pull away sometimes, just like you should be taking space for yourself sometimes as well, right? Do you agree? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to give an example if that's okay. Absolutely, yeah. Because I think this shows up and women are just like so confused by it. So, 
let's say you guys go on like a week long vacation mm-hmm. and just have the most fun. Like you go to um, Otros Rios, Jamaica, <laughs> and you're sitting on the beach and you're just having wonderful conversations. There's total intimacy. Um, you're having dinners that are very extravagant and you're having drinks and just it's a fabulous weekend and the whole time you guys are just adoring each other and then he goes back to work on Monday and you're like well where's my text message where's my I love you or Mm -hmm. where's Mm -hmm. the phone call and it doesn't come and then maybe it doesn't come the next day and you're like well we just had this amazing thing like I want him to be showing up and I just want women to know that in that instance the guy is just you know, his testosterone levels came down, especially if you were very sexually active, like that mm-hmm. brings it down. And um, just all that connection, all that communication, he needs to rebuild it. And the way he does that is by completing tasks. Mm-hmm. So when he's at work, he's like, you know, can I finish these emails? Can I, you know, my boss asked me to do this. Can I do that? So once he's checking all those off, that actually starts rebuilding his testosterone. And once that comes into fruition, he's like, man, you know, my girlfriend, I want to reach out to her. I want to reconnect with her. So he just needs that little bit of time. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Totally. Totally makes sense. I love everything you said about that. Let us know your experiences with this too. You guys love hearing from you. It's like our favorite thing in the world, connecting with all of you. Is there anything else you wanted to add or, or say on this topic? I'm good. Should we give them the special offer? Or yeah, you say? absolutely. No, I think you said it all. I, I love that. I love everything you said. I love getting Mike's opinion because he's just, he's just such an awesome guy. He's the kind of guy I would want any of my clients or women in my community it's just a masculine straightforward guy no games no bs right so like we mentioned if a man is constantly pulling away constantly like playing games or trying to manipulate you by like punishing you or going cold or distant that's not the kind of guy we're talking about here we would recommend getting rid of that guy right this is like in general men do need time to themselves it's a physiological thing like you said for their testosterone levels to build back up I love what you said about completing tasks too. So that was great. I actually learned something there. Um, yeah, let's tell them about the offer. Yes, the <laughs> offer. So we're so excited. Um, we have never offered this. Um, it's private one-on-one coaching with both of us. Helena doesn't offer coaching. As many of you who have followed her channel, she's so successful that she... <laughs> Hasn't needed to do coaching for, I guess, what's it been, a few years you haven't done it? But, like, when she was doing it, it was so successful and women loved it. I do love it, too. Yeah, absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to combine our forces because if we do coaching with both of us, it's just unstoppable force. Um, So what I'm bringing is a system to take you from single into a relationship. And Mike has the highest success rate in the entire country at this, by the way. Don't don't be humble. 83%, actually it's 86% this this year, but uh, in general, 83% of his clients get into relationships within the first, what, three to four months of working with you? That's right. Amazing. And so the reason I wanted Helena is I'm like, I want to give them the full package I need it to be one-stop shopping so that when they see me, there's, you know, I don't have everything. I just have the system. I have a great system, Mm -hmm. but I want them to also have access to Helena, which as all of you have followed her, it's like, how are we going to fail? She's going to teach you about, you know, when a man disappears, how to behave, um, you know, how to have feminine energy, how to behave on the dates, what to do in between the dates, how to have sexy boundaries, how men work, like all this coming together so that you cannot fail. Okay. So if you guys want this paid coaching, one-on-one coaching, like hop in. We're going to put a link down there. I believe we're going to put the link. Yeah, in the description. Yeah, we're right below this video. Perfect. The only thing is we only can take people that are financially responsible, that have money to invest. And we want folks that are like as passionate about this Mm -hmm. as us. So if your top priority is falling in love or if you're already in a relationship, making it better. Yeah then that is the person we want to work with. So if those things, if you meet those requirements, hop on in. We'd love to talk to you and get on our calendar. Um, Anything you want to add about this? Just that I'm super excited. We can't take very many people because this is all 100% of my coaching efforts. My full efforts are just going to, you know, this just just a couple women we can take to do this because it is, it's a lot of time and energy on our part, um, but one of our favorite things in the world to do. So we would love to work with you. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, click the link in the description, book your free call with Mike. 
and we can see if we'd all be a good fit to work together. And thank you so much for staying all till the end. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave us a comment, let us know how you guys are doing down below in the comment section, and we will see you next time. Yeah, and come join the dream team. Let's go, Helena. <laughs> give me some. Boom! I'm gonna get them in love. Love it. Let's yes. go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. See you on the dream team. <laughs>